Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share some updates, things that I've been doing on the cargo trailer. Welcome back and thanks for being here. I can't do much with my car. I have cut my thumb and not a terrible injury, but it is just enough to where I keep splitting it back open and bleeding everywhere. And uh, I am not going to the ER or to urgent care or nothing in today's climate. Uh, steering clear of anything to do with hospitals or ERs or doctors. I can fix this myself. I just can't do any heavy work, but for now I'm doing some work here in the trailer. So come on in and check this out. So I know it still looks a bit like a mess, but I have made some progress on my wiring. Uh, this here is a little fake floor that I have put in, so I have a place to put my work materials. And uh, you can see that I've got me some uh, wasp spray going on there. Wasp spray, which is probably more effective than brake cleaner. The wasps are out in force and have been coming in to this trailer looking for a place to set up shop. And man, all day yesterday I was just getting hassled by these wasps trying to boot me out of here and they're not terribly aggressive until they have a nest established so right now the queens are just flying around hunting or foraging looking for a home and so they don't fight but i still want them out of here <laughs> so here is what i have been doing i removed that big mess of add-ons and clippings and stuff i mean there you can see them there as i pull them out and toss them on the ground and um and i've replaced all of that with a proper terminal board so you can see the the four wire harness from the from the front of the trailer the car comes up in here and then i'm able to jump on each one and uh, this stuff going upwards goes across and over to the right side of the trailer where it then ties in and meets with another one and uh, so i've got the back of the trailer light here the uh, turn signal brake light and then back in here is a side marker light and then this wire up here goes up and forward. Here's a piece that comes down for a light that will go right here. And then these wires go up to the front of the trailer where they will tie into a forward marker light up there. Uh, I can't install the marker light until after I've done the, uh, the trim ring. I still need to form it and get it up there. And then uh, back over here to the other side, uh, you can see that I've got wires going down here to the side marker light that I mentioned. Here's the back side of the brake light. And then again, I've got wires going up forward where you can see uh, this group here will go up front to a forward marker light that will go up there. And then here is uh, a, a tie off that comes over to the ceiling vent. And this vent is new. This wasn't here before I cut this and installed it myself. And so uh, uh, I'm looking forward to being able to turn that on because once it gets warm, it's going to start getting uncomfortable in here. And I'm looking forward to being able to uh, put 12 volts out here and have a fan going while I work in here. Uh, future plans. I don't remember if I discussed them or not, but once I have the wiring all done, then I'm going to insulate the uh, the walls. Um, I need to put up a, uh, a ceiling. And for that, to be able to run my wires unimpeded through here, I'm going to drop the ceiling a little bit. And you can see I've got some 2 by 2s here, which bring it down a little bit. Um, and that will allow me to have an air gap right here so that the wires can run through the air gap. And then I'm going to insulate the ceiling and then put up a, uh, a ceiling, a, you know, a solid board for ceiling. And then, of course, paint it and try to make it all pretty and everything. And... Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it as far as the plan so far. And of course, I have to put a floor in. I don't, I don't have a floor right now. So that's what this table here is doing for me. It's giving me a temporary workspace and for my uh, wire work and heat shrinking and stuff like that, uh, including the X-Acto blade that I cut myself with because I'm such an awesome knife wielder. So right now, through all of this, I don't have a commute. And without a commute, I can actually have more time to work on this and it's been nice out and so I can work in here um, while it's warm and pleasant and of course right now it's starting to rain so I'm going to wrap this up and get out of here feel free to ask questions if you have them I can't think of anything right now that 
I probably have planned for a lot of things that may cross your mind, but I haven't thought to tell them to you. So feel free to ask a question. I'd be glad to answer. And I will try to give you more updates now that I'm making some progress on this trailer. So thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. Take care.